Welcome back, everybody. We're back together with another video, and I cannot believe the topic that we're actually going to be talking about here. George Lucas sold Lucasfilm to Disney back in 2012. It's been 12 years almost now. Mm hmm. And it's been a rocky relationship with Disney, to say the least. Now, of course, uh, George is uh, one of the biggest um, stockholders in Disney. He actually uh, recently came out and um, uh, showed support for um, Bob Iger, keeping his position as um, the CEO of Disney. But when it comes to Star Wars, George has been highly critical of Disney and what they have done. With his babies. Remember, he actually called them white slavers. Mm -hmm. They backstab him. You do know that um, George was supposed to be um, heavily involved with the uh, sequels, right? Yep. And then um, he shows up to the meeting. And he was expecting him to use his uh, drafts for uh, 789. And he said, wait a minute, what is this? This is nothing. They didn't even give him a warning. That they weren't going to use this stuff. And then he was highly pissed off with Disney. We know that George does not like these movies. He wouldn't approve of anything they'd done. But 12 years later, George is going to be uh, 80 years old next month. Apparently he's coming back. Mm -hmm. I got to be honest. I don't think he's coming back. Well, maybe or maybe not. If he is coming back, I was wondering, he has no control of his character anymore, right? Uh, no. One thing about um, George, he always got the final say because he was in charge of everything. He doesn't control anything now. So what kind of involvement he's going to be in? Um, not really sure, but however, a um, a second unit director that actually worked with George Lucas, he was actually on with um, Star Wars Theory. And uh, this is what he said here. Uh, his name is, um, what is his name? Uh, and let, let me just read this part right here then. Uh, former Star Wars assistant director and second unit director Roger Christensen, or uh, Christian. Uh, claims that George Lucas is returning to Star Wars and will be involved in a new live action series. Uh, Christian, who won an Academy Award for the original Star Wars film uh, for best production design, revealed in a recent interview with a uh, YouTuber Star Wars Theory that George Lucas is returning to Lucasfilm to work on a new live action series. Uh, Christian stated, or Christian stated, I keep saying Christensen, uh, quote, I think he's coming back. I'm pretty sure now that he's doing a series. I think that they're now bringing him in to the fold from what I hear, because there's a Star Wars live action uh, series coming. And I've got a strong uh, suspicion that George will have something to do with that. That's what I'm thinking. And I might be um, prophesizing. That's what I've heard and read. He continued. And I don't know from anything apart from I'm prophesizing that might happen because you've seen he's been very physically present here. He's been down on the sets and everything. That's what he says right there. But I got to be honest, he's been on the sets of quite a few things. I don't think he's come back every time Lucasfilm has consulted him. Remember, they consulted with him on the rise of uh, Palpatine. Obviously, they didn't listen to him. I mean, this guy, obviously, he's in the know. But I disagree. But do you think at this point, Disney is desperate? And if Josh Lucas come back, they will let him be in charge or something? The thing is, George, <laughs> when it comes to... um. What he wants to do with Star Wars, they would have to do everything he says. Yes. I believe that'll be the only way that could be done. Can you can you guys actually imagine George actually listening to Kathleen Kennedy? No. 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 
even though she is the quote unquote president of Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy Kennedy technically could override George Lucas. Th- yes. That's idiotic to even think about. Yes. Even though if George Lucas is coming back, the problem is I don't think she will let him be in charge. I, I just don't see how it's going to work. Yeah, I don't see that either. Yeah, because George was always in control. He didn't have the control to do what he wants to do. He even said uh, back um, in uh, 2014, he said that um, Disney, they didn't really want him around. And no. so he said, OK, I'll go my way. You go your way. Unless... Disney is really, really desperate to get the audience back. Yeah. And think of a way to try to make more profit instead of listening to the ideology. Yeah. That might work. But the thing is, they're talking about a live action series. So they're talking about Disney Plus. And we know that Disney Plus has been failing. Now, if they were to say, hey, it's going to be George out working on a movie, that'll be something else. Now, apparently a Rogue Squadron is back in the works now. Um, I don't think anybody has any interest in that. We know um, in a couple of months here, um, the Acolyte is coming out. Nobody wants to see that. Um, Mandalorian movies coming out. I don't know what live action series um, they're working on. Um, There's no Star Wars celebration this year, so I'm not really sure. Well, as not a Star Wars fan. Not a huge fan. (laughs) Not a huge fan, and I think this is what this channel is about, youth fan. I'm not a real fan. Yeah. And as a not a Star Wars real fan, I have to say that I will watch it no matter what if Josh Lucas is in charge. See, so the thing is with George, every single Star Wars project under his name, mm-hmm. he wrote all the stories. Yes. Every single story. So with this live action series, is he writing a story? I don't think so. I, don't, I really don't think so. I mean, or maybe he is helping the other guy how to do it or something like that. That could be. But but like he did with what's his name doing the anime? Well, um, well, no, George was doing um, Clone Wars talking about. No, George was heavily involved with that. All those stories were his. Dave Filoni was the creative um, uh, director. And the only reason why Ahsoka actually existed Mm-hmm. is because of George Lucas. Because yeah. George walked into the room and said, hey, we need to give uh, Anakin an apprentice. Dave Filoni said, Anakin doesn't have an apprentice. George says, yes, he does. Mm-hmm. George had the final say. So Dave Filoni gets a uh, credit with uh, creating Ahsoka, but really George technically did because it was his call. Dave Filoni, what it was like, nah, he doesn't have an apprentice. Yeah, he does. So. Well, maybe this time, if they let him come back, and if he wants to come back, maybe he might be helping the the writer what to do and stuff like that. Yeah, but I think that George is such an alpha when it comes to Star Wars. I don't see this working. I don't see it working. I don't think he's coming back. At 80 years old, I don't think he's coming back. Well, George always has a love for Star Wars, but clearly Disney is on a different path. I don't see how it's going to happen. But No, I don't think either, but there is a possibility. So. Okay, a possibility, anything is possible, but... uh. I don't see it happening, but that's going to wrap it up, guys. That's what we think about this here. George Lucas coming back. Are you guys actually buying this? I'm not. I would give it like a 10% chance. So I guess a little bit, but not much. Bill, 
That's going to wrap it up, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Goodbye.